Hey everyone, it's uh, Michael Eilbrock again from MJE Diagnostics and uh, I thought I'd do another quick video and the reason why is because uh, I was looking on Instagram uh, today and some questions were arising about uh, in injectors on uh, the Packard MX-13 engines. Okay, so um, they were uh, asking questions about could you see an opening hump on the current ramp um, on this particular type of engine and unfortunately no you can't um, and I've also I also double checked and I verified uh, with PicoScope as well and it gives the exact same waveform uh, even when I uh, just mash the sample rate pedal to the floor <laughs> so um, it's because of the the design of the injector and okay so that's the reason why you're not seeing an opening event on that current ramp um, the let me zoom out here zoom back in I want to show you this so uh, the guy that's on Instagram was asking the question um, he's called heavy-duty diagnostics and he uses eScope and he was asking me um, when the injector turns on is this area right here where the current is dropping down is that the opening event and no it's not okay that's just the uh, controls from the injector from the positive side modulating the pulse width voltage to the injector so the current's going to vary okay i didn't get voltage and ground on this one but later i will and i can explain that as well but um, it you can't see opening that's just this is modulation from the positive side however if you scope your rail pressure sensor uh, you can see the drop in the rail pressure and that proves that the injector is opening okay so if I turn off these channels here I was doing cranking cam and uh, I uh, I ended up taking my scope ground and putting it on the rail pressure sensor signal ground because when I had it to battery negative it was putting too much noise in the signal and I couldn't ID the pressure drops so when you do this make sure you're hooked up to the sensor ground so you get a clean signal okay so here if I go if I zoom in here a little bit you can see right here we've got pressure drops okay so here you can do cursors and you can measure and see if all the drops are even I can even zoom in a little bit more detailed just like that and now you can measure how much voltage each one drops okay um, if you don't want to do it this way there's another way after you measure it of course you can actually uh, vertically zoom the capture but when you do that it throws the scaling off okay so if you refer back to one of my training videos uh, in it's in the deep record video I believe I go over that and explain that but you can zoom in just like this and without mess, messing up your scaling and you can measure the voltage how much each one is dropping and get a variance and get your known good so that way when you do have a problem vehicle you will have your known good okay so for this style of injector this is the best way to see if the injector is opening okay and you can you can see every single one here in the firing order okay so if I were to do cursors here let's just prove this out okay so if I get cursors over here let me zoom in I'm gonna make sure I get on the main injection event come on there we go all right and we zoom out of there there we go and let me go pan hand scoot that over 
There we go. All right, so I've got that lined up. Now I'm gonna go mark cylinders for six cylinders. One, five, three, six, two, four, hit enter. And now I'm gonna zoom in again here. And let's do it again. And again. And there you go. So if you see it, all these purple hash marks here, they're pretty much lining exactly up with each cylinder. Okay, so that proves it that those are the rail pressure drops. So if you ever have a doubt that you don't think it's lining up right, if you do your uh, cil mark cylinders, you can line it up with each one. Okay, so this is how you verify if injectors are opening on a PACCAR MX-13. Okay, it's a 2014 model, um, but I, I bet a lot of the other uh, MX-13 injectors are probably the same makeup. Okay, so, but when you get in a scenario like this where you don't really see an opening uh, hump, a ramp on the current ramp for the injector, the next best way to see if it's opening is to go off of the rail pressure sensor. But make sure, remember this, make sure that your scope ground is on the sensor ground because that'll take all the noise out so you can get a better look at the signal. Because I had it on battery negative and it was just too hashy, I couldn't make it out because it was the, uh, the electrical noise from the base electrical system, okay? So make sure you're on scope ground, okay? So, uh, that's pretty much it for now. I just wanted to address this because they were asking some questions on Instagram and I thought this was the best way for me to do it. Um, if you have any questions about anything else uh, that I've done, you can contact me uh, here through YouTube or you can contact me on my website, um, email me, whatever, uh, and then uh, I can answer your questions. So uh, my email is, it's uh, MJE Diagnostics, your Midwest Auto at gmail.com. So you can contact me through there for questions or you can, you know, give me a message on YouTube, however you want to do it, I don't care. And then I also have a website, uh, www.mjediagnostics.com as well. So. Um, I'm on social media as well, so you're gonna find me. I'm I'm all over the place. <laughs> so, so anyway, I hope uh, this helped everybody. I hope this cleared up some questions that was on Instagram, and I hope everyone has a good evening. I'm getting out of here. Bye.